this situation we have just replaced the right front tire sensor we put a new tire sensor in and we're just going to give a quick demo how do we rotate that new tire sensor into the system so we've connected the OBU with the mobile phone it's all set and now if you're going to look at the readings we get probably the right front tire sensor will not give us any reading because the system doesn't understand the location and the location number and the ID of the right front sensor. So here we can see now it remains on push on zero um, pressure and zero, zero temperature and um, after a short while driving it will actually trigger the alarm. So we're not going to wait for that. We now clearly see the situation. We go to TPS setting in the main menu, TPS setting and we're going to attend to that right front wheel. I'm going to go here with reading without the location number. I am actually going to disconnect the OBU from power for this job, which will prompt me to keep the OBU running on the battery. Push no here. And now we're going to move to the right front wheel and we're going to set the right front sensor to the right, to the right, um, yeah, all right settings. So we are at the right front wheel, we go to read without location number, go, and we're going to read this tire sensor now. Okay, tire sensor you can see is set to location zero, got the ID, it's got the pressures and everything on here. So we clearly identified the tire pressure and we're going to do a location change now for that tire pressure sensor. From zero, we're going to change it to four and we hit the change button. So it's now named number four. And what we're gonna do now, by saving it, we're gonna save it to the OBU that this tire sensor number four with that ID is the new right front tire sensor. Save, and we got the confirmation number. So perfect, we're going out of here. We're still on zero. No, it already gave us the right tire pressure here. Perfect, that was an easy rotation in of a brand new tire sensor.